Welcome to the Hatchet Fish art tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to make this watercolor hatchet fish. Here's what you'll need. Watercolor paper, but really any kind of paper will work. A large and small paintbrush, a pencil with an eraser, and a pen or fine tip marker. Black, white, and blue watercolor paint. Something to use as a watercolor palette and something to hold water. So we're going to start off with our pencil and draw an inverted D shape to use as a guide to draw the body of the hatchet fish. Draw one curved line to the left. And then to the right of it, one vertical line. Then we're going to divide the vertical line into thirds by drawing two marks on it, uh, equally spaced. Then we're going to draw what's called the lateral line of the fish. Uh, the lateral line is something fish use to help sense what's going on in their surroundings. And we're going to draw that by making a straight horizontal line between the front of the D and through the top third mark. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line between the lower third mark on the vertical line of the D and the end of the horizontal line. Then we're going to do the same thing from the top of the D, drawing a diagonal line between the top of the D and the end of the horizontal line. I'm going to slightly shorten the cone shape by drawing another vertical line. Now I'm going to make the front of the D slightly more pointy to show uh, the front of the hatchet fish's snout. And then draw a diagonal line to create the hatchet fish's mouth. Hatchet fish have very oblique and almost vertical mouths, which mean they face upwards. Then I'm going to outline the tip of the nose of the hatchet fish and sort of crisp up the lines going over the back of the hatchet fish. Hatchet fish have very large eyes that are very close to the front of their head. I'm going to render these by drawing sort of an oblong circle. and then draw the pupil inside by making a smaller circle inside this sort of misshapen circle. I'm going to draw a curving vertical line to delineate the head of the hatchet fish from the body and to create where the gills would be. And that line's going to sort of hook around, almost like a fishing hook, up close to the eye. Then I'm going to draw a sort of wavy shape on the hatchet fish's belly. And continue that on to the back side of the body. Then I'm going to add some wavy lines to the underside of the back side of the body to give it sort of more shape. And we're using our lines we put in as a guide, but we're, we're not going to keep those lines forever. We're just sort of using them to block out the shapes that we need. I'm going to grab my eraser and remove that vertical line for the D we used before. We just used that to help us draw the lines we needed. And then you can erase the lateral line around the eye and around the head. And I'm going to erase that end of the body there. 
Now I'm going to draw the caudal fin by making two diagonal lines that come together in a curved fork. I'm going to add some small semicircle like shapes to the base of the caudal fin. Now I'm going to add the pectoral fin on the side of the hatchet fish. It kind of looks like a piece of pizza. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some more fins to the underside of the fish. I'm going to block in where the dorsal fin will be, so make kind of a curving line starting just behind the head and ending before the caudal fin. Now I'm going to sort of render the upper jaw by making this, I don't really know how to describe this shape, but making this shape above the mouth. And then I'm going to make the mouth have a little bit more shape by tucking it in below the mouth and coming back out and erasing that original line we had. I'm going to make the mouth look like it's slightly open by adding an extra line. Hatchet fish have what are called photophores, which emit light, and I'm going to add these to the underside of that curved line we drew on the hatchet fish's belly. They're sort of rounded triangle shapes. And then I'm going to draw some lines along the hatchet fish's belly. and the hatchet fish has some more photophores on the very, very bottom of its belly. I'm gonna add some more photophores to the back end of the hatchet fish. So again, these are little sort of curved triangle shapes. And the hatchet fish uses these to emit light and to actually hide from predators that are looking up at it from below because if you're underwater and you look up at the surface it looks lighter but if you see a fish coming overhead you can see the dark silhouette of it by making their underside lighter the fish has a way of camouflaging so that's kind of a cool adaptation that they use living in the low light of the ocean twilight zone this adaptation is called counter illumination I'm adding some slightly diagonal vertical lines to sort of show the fish's muscular structure. It kind of looks like veins on a leaf almost coming out from the lateral line. Then I'm going to add some details to the fish's face. There's this sort of squiggly line that goes up around the nose and the eye. And then there's also these two curved lines on the back or the dorsal area of the fish. Then I'm going to add the fin rays by making some short straight lines coming out of the dorsal area. And I'm going to do this for all the fins, the caudal fin, pectoral fin, all the fins get the, these little fin rays. Now 
I'm gonna add a little bit more delineation to the bottom jaw. And I'm gonna add a highlight to the eye by erasing a little bit of that pupil and adding a small circle right above it. And when we paint the fish, we'll leave that white to make the eye look like it's shining in the light. And then I'm drawing a small semicircle below the eye. All right, now your drawing is finished and it's time to paint. Let's grab our palette and our water and our black paint and our blue paint as well. So we're gonna get our brush full of water and grab a mixture of black and blue paint, but we don't want it to be too dark. And we're just gonna fill in our entire hatchet fish except for the eye and the fins. You want it to be this sort of blue-gray color. We're going to come back in with a slightly lighter version of the color we just made. So use that same color you mixed, but with a little bit more water, and we're going to fill in all of the fins with that color. We're going to take some black paint and add it to those two curved shapes up on the back or the dorsal area of the hatchet fish. We're going to add some black around the hatchet fish's head as well. Filling in that curvy shape we marked out before with our pencil around the eye and curving around the nose. We're going to take some more black paint and delineate where the gills are. This is also called the operculum in the fish. It's the cover that covers the fish's gills. And I'm using sort of the long edge of my brush. This is a very wide brush, but if you use it sideways on the long edge, you can make very thin lines with it. I'm just using a little bit of water to blend in somewhere of slightly darker paint. I'm taking a little bit of black paint and outlining the opening of the mouth. And also shading in the underside of the chin. I'm gonna take some more black paint and use it to shade in the upper jaw and then to add some shadows to the fish's belly. Then I'm going to use it to add shadows to that line we drew where the photophores are found. And we're also going to do the same thing to the backside of the fish. So shadow below on the very bottom of the fish. And then shadow where the photophores are found along that line. I'm gonna add a little bit more delineation between the front and backside of the fish. I'm just going to add a little bit more black paint up to those two dark shapes on top of the fish. 
because it, when it dried, it came out a bit lighter than I wanted it, so whenever something doesn't look quite what you want it, you can always wait for it to dry and then add a little bit more later on. I'm going to add some black to those two semicircle shapes at the base of the caudal fin. Now I'm going to take a little bit of blue and black paint mixed together and paint in these lines that look like the leaf veins along the top side of the hatchet fish, using the long edge of my brush so I get nice thin lines. I'm going to do that same thing on the lower side of the fish. And again, I'm using a, some black paint with a little bit of blue mixed in. I'm going to use that same mixture to emphasize the lateral line. And after letting those lines dry, I'm going to add a little bit of blue and black paint, but this time there's a little bit more blue in it to add a shadow to the underside of the fish. Now I'm going to take some light blue paint, this time with no black included and paint in the iris of the eye. And now I'm going to grab my little brush and get some dark black paint without any water. And I'm going to paint in the pupil nice dark black, but not filling in that little highlight we added. I'm going to wash off my brush and get some darker blue paint and again paint in only the top side of the eye, not including the pupil and not including the highlight. And this will add sort of a shadow to the eye and make it look very shiny and three-dimensional. I'm going to blend that dark blue with the light blue below. I'm going to grab my white paint and my little brush. I'm going to wash my brush and grab some white paint without any water. And I'm going to add some highlights to the top of those striations. I'm just putting a little bit of paint up at the top, right below that those black shapes. But I'm not going to cover the lines I made. I'm going to go in between them. This is going to make the fish look sort of shining, and shiny and like it's glistening in the light. And I'm going to do this right below the lateral line on the lower side as well, with some bright white paint. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the fish's cheek area, right below the eye, and to sort of the side of the operculum, and some highlights down at the fish's belly, right below that dark line we made, and some highlights along the back side of the fish's belly as well, between those two dark lines. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the top side of the upper jaw. I 
and a little bit of white to the underside of the eye, that sort of crescent moon shape we made. Now I'm going to take some very saturated white, so no water at all, and paint in the photo fours. So these are basically just little white dots in the spaces that we drew the photo fours before, those little triangles. And we're going to fill in all of the photo fours we drew along the fish's underside. as well as the ones on the very, very bottom of the belly. Now we're gonna grab a black fine tip marker or a black pen and outline the fish. We don't want the outline to be too thick, so just a very thin, delicate outline. Now we're going to draw in the fin rays with our pen, but we're not going to outline the fins. Just draw the fin rays, and but don't add the fin outlines. You can do this for all of the fins. We're also going to outline the eye with our black fine tip marker, but again we don't want this line to be too thick or too stark, we want it to be kind of a thin, delicate line. Now I'm going to take my eraser and erase all of the pencil lines we made. We're finished! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you had a good time drawing and painting this hatchet fish. Bye!